Hey guys, here I'm actually unboxing this new Matsushu brand Industrial High Velocity Fan I got this just today for the helper thing because right now my helper is here But the Construct Fan, the Emar Fan for my helper film broke recently So So yeah, I, I actually my helper had to get one of my USB fans, so you can hear them well, the one like the big USB fan, which actually does about maybe the same as maybe an average fan of low, or maybe even less when it's on high speed. And you know, since he probably needs something stronger than that, than that, and also since I want my fan back, I just got this for the room, so you know. I guess I actually use a USB fan at night to blow her into the bathroom when the exhaust fan is not turned on, when you know all the windows are closed and everything, so yeah. Anyways, I'm just gonna show you the box. Speed speed. It's actually a cheaper fan, actually, it's like 169 Hong Kong dollars, which is. But by 11, could, could be not, maybe. I'm not sure if it's gonna be. 16, 15 US dollars, I'm not that sure. Chinese. I have to follow those Chinese. Anyway. I actually had the fan tested when I was there, so... Yeah. The plastic bag is actually on the side right now, it's not wrapping, it's not wrapping the fan. And somehow the receipt mask got inside. When I was close. I put the receipt here and then it just slipped inside for now. I was in the bus, I guess, or when I was walking and taking the long. My mom actually specifically asked me for the receipt, so you know. She knows what we're spending on. I need something. Look at that. There's the receipt. There it is. I actually got this from JHC. In like Japan Home Center actually. So anyway. Just gonna show you a bit of the manual. Chinese. So there's the inner side. There's a blue notice in bathrooms. Oh, I never used to have a garden place, but that's probably a safety thing because you know the fan is on the ground and everything. But you know, leave the word never on there, so yeah. Not sure why, if it's on the ceiling, you can't use it without the, you can't use it without the grills, but... I'd rather just follow what the manufacturer says, just to be safe. I don't know, maybe to protect the blade as well.
never knew that you should actually turn the fan off when you're tilting it. I don't know why, but I'm gonna do it just to be safe. So yeah, there's the fan itself. Just gonna give you a bit of first time testing. I'm actually gonna do this video, maybe the next time my helper is not at home. When this is all when this is all set up and everything. I'm actually gonna put the camera on my tripod. I bet you could try it in a while. I actually saw it in there. And that is the place where things are not normally used. That is the place where things that are pretty much unused are kept. So, yeah. I guess this cupboard is getting old. The brass tells me that it's probably like at least 20 years old right now, so. Probably has some malfunction and stuff like that. There we go. This is, this is gonna be like a first time testing. I'm not really gonna do anything else much. Else much. Oh, that is no ground. That's weird. Here's low. Apparently my voice is actually bigger than I expected when I... Oh, I should turn it off when I'm tilting it. I actually have the habit of not turning it off before I tilt it. But that's actually what I should really do. I don't know why you should, but that's what the manufacturer says she should do, so yeah. I'm actually gonna leave this running for 24 hours, just, you know. Make sure things are freed up and everything. So, hi. Okay, it moves a decent amount of fire hot speed actually. Show you a bit of the back. Off. <laughs> and fair spin down actually. I'm not sure if I actually have to leave it on for the hours. I'll read the manual again. But anyways, if it does, I will. If it does say that, that say that I will. But anyways, hey guys, have a thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this video. Feel free to check out my channel, and if you like my videos, feel free to subscribe.